Hey everyone, my name is Anthony and I am a program manager on Azure Static Web Apps. Did you know that Azure Static Web Apps is a great place to host your Blazor WebAssembly applications? Well, it is, and I'm here to show you how it works. Azure Static Web Apps automatically builds and deploys your app. It supports .NET 6 and some advanced features like Blazor WebAssembly ahead of time compilation. Ahead of time compilation or AOT if you're one of the cool people, ensures that your Blazor WebAssembly app runs as fast as possible. Here, I have an app that I've already deployed to Azure Static Web Apps. It's Conway's Game of Life running in Blazor WebAssembly. It's quite CPU intensive, and we can see that the number of generations per second is about nine. Let's see if we can improve this number with ahead of time compilation. To enable AOT compilation, we just have to change this run AOT compilation flag in our project file to true. Without AOT, we have a .NET runtime running in WebAssembly in the browser that's interpreting .NET intermediate language. That's not exactly fast. With AOT, we compile the entire app into WebAssembly and the browser is running the whole thing natively as WebAssembly. I will now go ahead and commit this change to a branch in Git. Then I'll push the branch to GitHub and create a pull request. When the pull request is created, a GitHub Actions workflow automatically starts. Because we have ahead of time compilation enabled, it's going to take a little while longer to build it because there's a lot more work to do. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. It's been about seven minutes. We can see the workflow run is finished. The Azure Static Web Apps GitHub Action automatically detected that this is a Blazor WebAssembly app, automatically installed the required dependencies, built it, and deployed it. If we go back to the pull request, Azure Static Web Apps has automatically created a staging environment for this change. If I open it, we'll see that the AOT version of the app loads up at a temporary staging URL. The generations per second is now over 11, that's almost a 20% improvement over the version without AOT. When I'm happy with this change, I can merge my pull request. Static Web Apps will then build and deploy the changes to the production site in Azure. And there you have it. We've seen that Blazor WebAssembly, ahead of time compilation, Azure Static Web Apps work awesome together. If you're ready for some extra awesomeness in your life, check out aka.ms slash swa docs to get started. Thanks for watching.